Shalom. Kahalinga, Yahalo Bashim Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, double honest to the hills and the apostles, the great most known who rule well, Shalom to the 144,000, the one third remnant men, women, the children of the whole for let Shalom. This is the brother Gabar Yash coming back at you with another quick one. All right, it's going to be a quick lesson here. All right, Lord, one our praise lesson is edifying, straight to the point, through the spirit of Rakakwadash. All right, please be in prayer, Yahabashim Yahushai. All right. So as you can see, man, <laughs> things about to turn up here in Babylon, man. Spirits created for vengeance. These people have had enough here in America, Babylon the Great, which has led to this, man, all right? <laughs> people taking matters into their own hands, okay? Seditions among men, okay? Let's read this article from the People's Voice TV, and it says, Pedo Hunters tied up and beat tar out of illegal alien caught graping a 13 year old 13 year old in new york city so these people took matters into their own hands and got their own vigilante justice man until the police showed up okay and that's that's just that seditions building up man okay nothing but chaos is about to ensue here in babylon let's read a little bit it says, vigilantes caught the 25-year-old illegal alien wanted for Thursday's grape of a 13-year-old girl at a park in Queens, New York, tied him up and beating the tar out of him while waiting for the police to arrive and taking him into custody. So, <laughs> these people, this man, that's, that's wild. But hey, hey, that spirit's created for vengeance, man. Okay, these people are becoming spirits created for vengeance, man. And let's get that scripture. That's all you're about to see here in Babylon. <laughs> spirits created for vengeance, man. That's all it is. Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 39 verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fearing lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay? Appease the wrath of who? Y'all about some y'all shot. Okay? Something similar like that happened, I think, about a few months ago in Haiti, man. Where they stoned the dude, uh, stoned the guy to death in Haiti, man, for, you know, graping a, a young girl, man. Okay? She's really a woman, but nevertheless, man. But, you know, hey, and really... That dude was supposed to be put to death, man, according to the scriptures, man. Okay? He was supposed to be put to death for that shit. And that was wicked what he did, man. But, hey. Hey, they beat the shit out of him. Good, hey. And rightfully so, man. That was just... That was judgment. <laughs> okay? They lucky they ain't put his ass to death, man. Okay? But that time is coming where... Hey. That's gonna happen. Okay? Let's continue. Verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth the wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Okay? Verse 31, they shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. They're not going to transgress the words of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Okay? So... You're going to see more things like this take place, man. People are fed up, all right? And really, this is what the elites want, man. They want that chaos so they can bring the order, okay? So people are fed up with these uh these so-called illegal immigrants coming in here and, you know, just doing what they want to do, okay? Let's read. It says, dramatic footage shows the fugitive cowering on the sidewalk as the angry mob pounds him and calls him out as a rapist or a rapist. Where are you going? Where are you going? A woman is heard screaming in Spanish while cut while clutch clutching his hair. He's a rapist. He doesn't he don't care. Alright, so and they have a video and we're not gonna show that but you know, I put that in the, um, you know, in the uh, comment board. You can watch it. But hey, man, <laughs> people have had enough, man. Okay, people gonna take matters into their own hands. This is what's gonna lead to sedition. 
All right. Revolts. People revolting. Okay. It says the footage showed the suspect crawling under a parked car to, to get away from the mob as bystanders keep screaming. He's under the car. He's hiding under the car because we beat the shit out of him. <laughs> the woman yells as cops showed up. Be his ass, she asked. <laughs> so that's that's the type of spirit people in, man. That's sedition. All right, like I said, they shall not regard their kings and nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. This is, man, this is second was 15, 16, speaking loud and clear, man. Hey. <laughs> you gonna, and you're going to see more of this, man. You're going to see a whole lot more of this. Okay? <clears throat> One man is heard asking the back in the background, where's my $10,000 at? All right, ref a reference to the reward offered by the N NYPD for the arrest. One of the citizens says he's waiting for the suspect identified as Christian Giovanni Inga Landy to come out of the Audi, come out of the Audi on 108th Street, a few blocks from the park. After recognizing him from the police wanted posters and surveillance videos released by the NYPD. So these people took matters into their own hands, man, and said, hey, <laughs> subdue the suspect. <laughs> hey, that's wild, man. But you're going to see more of this, man. That's, these are the times that we're in, man. And it's going to get crazy out here. It's going to get a whole lot crazier than that, man. Okay, let's go to 2nd Israel 15, and let's read verse 14, all the way down to verse 19, man. 2nd Israel chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction drive nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. Okay, you're going to literally see people fighting with swords, guns, hammers, machetes, you name it, man. You're about to see that chaos about to hit these streets of Babylon, man. Verse 16. For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their ashes shall stand in their power. Is that not what happened? These people took matters into their own hands and said, hey, we're going to subdue the suspect. We're going to beat the crap out of him for what he did to a 13-year-old. All right? He graped the 13-year-olds. They saw him, they recognized him, and they went after him, man. <laughs> These people are not going to regard the police. They're not going to regard the, none of that, man. People are just going to take matters into their own hands. These people are going to become straight-up vigilantes out here, man. Okay? Verse 17. A man shall desire to go to a city and shall not be able. Martial law. Checkpoints. Okay? Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Not just men, women out here as well. Okay? Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil the goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay? These people are fed up, and these people are getting tired. And these people, look, all it's just going to take is just one spark of shit to hit the fan, man. Okay? All right? That's all it's going to take, man. So, look. These are the times that we're in. Okay? Oh, no, no. I'm tripping. Let's see. Let's go to Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yeah, the love of many is waxing cold, man. It's about to become a cold, cold world out here, man. Okay, so we're living in some exciting and crazy times, man. It's going to be a time like no other. Okay, let's go to Daniel 12 and 1. And this is all part of Jacob's trouble, man. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Only the elect is going to escape these times to come. Okay? The rest of these people are done. Okay? The rest of these people are doom and gloom. 
Okay? So, you're going to see more of that, man. Crazy shit happening. And we're just going to sit back and enjoy the show, man. All right? The whole full length. We want to see the chaos happen. Okay? We're just going to sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> what else can you do? <laughs> so, uh, uh, anything else I got? Nope, that's pretty much it, man. Okay? So, man, Jacob's trouble is fast approaching. Let's get that scripture and we're going to close it out. Like I said, I didn't intend to make this too long. Okay? Jeremiah 30 and 7, the last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. And only the elect is going to be saved out of it, man. We are entering into a time like no other, man. Chaos, destruction, death. Okay? So, hey, Jacob's trouble is very, very close. Okay? All hell is about to get ready to break loose in this society, man. Okay? And these people are on edge. And, okay, and these people are just looking for a reason, man. People just going to take matters into their own freaking hands, man. Okay? So with that, I'm going to leave it there. I just want to do this little quick lesson, man. I didn't want to make it too long. All right? I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. Hey, to know the times that we're in, man. It's high time to wake out of sleep. 1044, 144, call late night. How about Shmiel Shah? Okay? So with that, all praises and glorifications go see how about Shmiel Shah, by Shim Rakakwadash. It's on to the next one, Sean Wom, Kwam Yashrala, and a Bob Papa. Sean Wom.